My name is Marcus. I am uh, Majesty Skis ambassador from Norway. And I'm here to talk to you guys about the newest Majesty Vanguard. This is the widest ski in the freeride touring range of Majesty Skis, and it's also a twin tip ski. It has some new graphics here. The, the colors are kind of switched around. Last year they were red on top and black on the bottom. This year it's the opposite. Uh, I really dig this uh, matte black look here, and it's a very beautiful uh, ski in my opinion. This week we had a pretty big snowstorm come through. As you can see, there's snow everywhere even in the fjords, which doesn't really happen that much. I got to test out the Vanguard in, in a lot of tight trees and some big mountain lines as well. And I was really surprised at how nimble and how playful the ski is uh, for its size. It's a very big ski. It's made for those deeper days, but it's also very stable and playful in the trees because of the 4R uh, radii concept that Majesty has. It essentially gives you four different radii uh, depending on how much pressure you put through the ski. So you can create really big lines in the long turns or you can make really short and sharp and quick turns through the trees. Uh, and I found this to be super useful in the tight trees that I was skiing this week. This ski consists of a mix of uh, Triax fiberglass, carbon and aramid fibers, as well as a polonia wood core, which gives it that liveliness and that poppiness that you want in a powder ski, but also the same stability that you want from uh, a big mountain ski, for example. The rocker profile is relatively damp with uh, little to no camber underfoot, uh, but it has a very early rise in the rocker profile, both in the tips and the tails. This makes the ski very surfy and uh, enjoyable for deeper days. The Vanguard's uh, stiffness is quite nice. It's a very soft and buttery ski in the front, which allows you to do butters. And I really like to feel the stability and the responsiveness of a slightly softer ski. On the back end, it's a lot stiffer. And this is very nice for hitting big uh, drops, big cliffs, and stomping big tricks into the backcountry. The weight of the ski is a very nice middle ground between that stableness and that playfulness, allowing you to go put a touring binding on these skis and go for long tours into the mountains, but also have some energy and stableness on the downhills for going hard and shredding. So who uh, might this ski be for? Well, anyone who enjoys deep days in the trees those who want to ride big lines, and maybe for those who want to throw some tricks into the backcountry. The ski can do it all, pretty much. 